This free kick is possibly the most iconic in the history of the Bundesliga, for several reasons. Firstly, it was an indirect free kick in the penalty area, a rarity in football. Secondly, it was the last move of the 2000-1001 campaign. And thirdly, the shot was a title decider in the legendary race for the Meisterschale between Schalke and Bayern. But one step at a time. The 71-72 campaign aside, Schalke were having the best ever season in their Bundesliga history. The team coached by Hoop Stevens had scored more goals than any other team and conceded the fewest. Emil Mpenza, Gerald Azamoa, Andy Muller and Yuri Mulder were the Royal Blue legends of the time and Ebba Zandt was the league's top scorer. Of course, their biggest adversaries Bayern were never going to concede without a fight. With back-to-back -back league titles under their belts, the record champions boasted the far better known squad Oliver Kahn, Stefan Effenberg, Willy Sagnol and World Cup winner Vicente Lizarazu. All the big name stars were playing in Munich. Nevertheless, the head-to-head -head encounters that season were won by Schalke. In the first meeting on match day 12, Stevens' men twice went behind, before Gerald Azamoa and Eber Sant saved the day with two goals in three minutes. Eber Sant! 3-2! Schalke have turned it around! The Royal Blues also found themselves in arrears in the reverse fixture in Munich. Thanks to the league's leading marksman, Eber Zand, Schalke fought back to win 3-1 at the Olympic Stadium. Penza, saved by Kahn, but Sand on the follow-up. It's a hat-trick for the Danish striker. After the win in the second game against Bayern, Schalke took top spot and stayed there. Until match day 33, until the 90th minute, the Royal Blues lost 1-0 in the last minute against Stuttgart. All ends up. 1-0. At the same time, also in the 90th minute, second place Bayern scored the winner to make it 2-1 against Kaiserslautern and move back to the top of the table. Advantage Bayern. A week later, on the 19th of May 2001, Bayern went into the last match day with a three-point lead. A point away to Hamburg would be enough to seal the title. At the same time, Schalke were at home to Unterhaching. A win against the relegation candidates was a must and Bayern would have to lose at Hamburg at the same time. The Royal Blues still had an outside chance of the first Bundesliga title in the club's history. A special end to the season. A long-distance contest between two giants of German football. The clubs with the largest memberships in the Bundesliga are predestined to be fierce rivals. On the one hand, the biggest team in the land, the glamour club with the biggest budget, the most famous names and the most league titles, 15 in total. On the other hand, the working class club from Germany's grittiest industrial region, the Ruhr district. Mining, coal, hard work, that's the DNA of the club and fans in Gelsenkirchen. Their overwhelming yet unfulfilled desire to lift the Bundesliga Meisterschale could have been finally realised on that fateful 19th of May. On the last day of the season, Schalke entertained relegation threatened onto Haching, incidentally a suburb of Munich. It was the last Bundesliga game at the Old Park Stadium before the move to the Veltins Arena. Initially, everything went against Bayern's challengers. Haching went 2-0 up. Schalke's title hopes appeared to be evaporating before their very eyes. However, the hosts levelled before half-time with goals from Van Kerhofen and Azamor. That's how you come back! That is how you show character! Everything now possible for Schalke! Another setback midway through the second half. Free kick for Unterhaking. Seifert with the header! Unterhaking lead! Schalke in despair! And then, Jörg Burma turned the game round in less than two minutes. A double strike to hand Schalke a 4-3 lead. Never Zand. Still Zand. Sees Burma. Burma keeps his call. Cool. Unbelievable! Schalke are breathing down Bayern's neck again. 4-3. A minute to go and Schalke wrapped up the win with 89 minutes played. Schalke won 5-3. Unterhaching were relegated and Schalke were dreaming of that maiden Bundesliga title. Meanwhile, in Hamburg, Marek Heinz crossed into the Munich box. 
Turkey Barbers! 1 0! This is it! Handbag lead! Bayern are about to gamble away their advantage. This might very well be the deciding moment in this year's championship. The crowd in Gelsenkirchen went wild when the news came through. A defeat for Bayern in Hamburg would mean Schalke were champions. However, unbeknown to almost everyone in the Park Stadium crowd, the game in Hamburg was not over. Four minutes after the home team's opener, a slight lapse of concentration by keeper Matthias Schober set in motion one of the biggest dramas in the Bundesliga to this day. Probably the most fateful back pass in the history of German football. The irony of fate, Schauber learned the goalkeeping trade in the Schalke youth section and played for the Royal Blues up to that season's winter break. By then, the crowd in Gelsenkirchen had become aware of the situation in Hamburg. That game was shown live on the giant screens in the stadium. Tens of thousands looked on as Bayern were awarded an indirect free kick. What happened next is unique and difficult to beat in terms of drama. Four minutes and 36 seconds separated Schalke's belief in a title triumph and the last move of the season. This is Bayern's last chance of winning the title. Patrick Anderson to take the free kick and Anderson scores! Anderson scores! This is unbelievable! Bayern are champions again! Hi guys, did you like that? Subscribe here. Don't miss any of the Bundesliga action. Subscribe now.